The fiber tag tightrope was developed specifically to improve graft preparation and performance with non-looped grafts, such as the quadriceps tendon in ACL reconstruction. The graft is marked circumferentially at the desired length of stitching. After the graft is marked, the fiber tag tightrope suture card is loaded onto the graft clamp instrument. It's important to fully seat the card into the slot in the bottom jaw of the instrument. The fiber tag can be pushed down onto the tooth of the graft clamp to further stabilize the implant. The graft clamp is clamped approximately 2 millimeters from the end of the graft. The fiber tag needle is then passed at the marking to provisionally extend the fiber tag along the graft. Two speed whip stitches are recommended using standard fiber loop technique, working toward the suture card and ensuring the fiber tag is captured with each needle pass. After the two speed whip stitches are performed, insert the needle through the slot in the suture card, ensuring the needle passes over the tightrope loop. Two additional speed whip stitches are performed, working back down the fiber tag, which forms a locking style stitch. The needle now may be passed into the tissue beyond the end of the fiber tag. One suture limb is cut just below the suture splice near the needle, ensuring the needle is still attached to the opposite end. The suture limbs are wrapped around the graft and tied securely. After knot tying, cut the suture without the needle. The needle is used to bury the knot within the graft. The remaining suture limb is cut flush with the graft. The fiber tag tightrope suture card is then removed from the graft clamp, and the remaining sutures can be uncleated from the suture card. The opposite end of the graft is then prepared with a fiber tag tightrope ABS implant in a similar fashion.